I'm gonna show you the recipe to win any fight. So the first thing is safe distance. You wanna be either too far away, keep that safe distance, or too close to get hit hard. So you wanna close that space as quickly as possible. So as we're here, keep my hand out to kind of keep that space. When I'm ready, I'll give a distraction, either a smack or a kick. Oh, I get in tight. Once we're in tight, I wanna get him to the floor before he pokes my eyes. It's my favorite way to step to the center, trip him out, he falls. I mount. If you're ever in a street fight situation, you want to get this position. This is called the mount position. They'll either try to push you away, or as you're hitting them, they will turn. When they turn, they're going to try to get up, and that's when our feet go into the thighs. That keeps us on. If he tries to roll me over now, I will not roll over because I'm hooked into him. Then we do the number one choke of all time, the rear naked choke, arm under, hand to bicep, hand under head, head to head squeeze, any foot taps. Again, real speed. The beauty of getting that top mount position is I can hurt him if I want to, or I don't have to hurt him. You can control the situation without hurting him. I don't know any other art, karate, boxing, taekwondo, where you can use that kind of control and not hurt someone. You could take him down, get the position, and kind of just calm the situation. In the streets, you don't have to respect the tap, but it's completely up to you. And remember, if you train jujitsu for years and years, in your brain, you are trained to let go when someone taps. They could have a knife, they could have a gun. You let go, they get up, shoot you. So you have to be careful. You gotta just be aware of the situation. If you wanna learn more self-defense things like this, go to my online academy. All you have to do is type academy and I'll give you seven days free and you can check it out for free.